Drew and T are driving just over 20 miles west out of Florence, past the village of Vinci, birthplace of a certain Leonardo. They've been granted access to the home of an antique dealer and collector of almost mythological fame. We are on the way to meet a guy called Marco Santamelli. He's been doing it his whole career. He's now an antique dealer of note. I've asked about him and he's got no web presence whatsoever. Nothing, zero, nothing. nothing. It's very unusual in these days to get that. So he must have a fantastic client list. But he's a proper guy who knows what he's on about, you know? He's the real deal, the real McCoy. Having stood for almost a millennia on the fertile banks of the River Arno, and the scene of a great medieval battle mentioned in Dante's Inferno, the town of Empoli, like much of Tuscany, is layer upon well-preserved layer of history. For the last 15 years, amid stunning examples of Renaissance architecture, one intriguing doorway leads to the private residence of one of Tuscany's most sought-after antiques experts, Marco Centimelli, today accompanied by his restorer, Filippo Bonci. Dodici anni fa eh, ho aperto eh, prim, eh, questo, questa rivendita d'antiquariato, più che altro all'ingrosso, a commercianti, non privati. No, no, non faccio niente online io, solo alla vecchia maniera, old style, <ride> per capirsi. E gli accessi alle cose mie le do solo a chi voglio io. Eh, eh, sono lieto di avere i trucchi da me. Prego, hey. buongiorno. How you doing? Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Drew. Drew. Hey. Sì. Hi. Buongiorno. Marco, my Filippo. name is Philippe. Philippe. Thank you for having us. We're, I, I'm particularly looking very forward to today, really am, really, really am. <laughs> um, right, so, this is your home, his si. home. Okay, si, 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 okay. Si, si, si. your home. And everything's for sale in here as well? But, no, quasi, non tutto. Le parti, queste alcune cose, sì. Depends of object, uh, if you... Okay. If you watch. Can we go through here? Yes. Look in here? Wow, this is great. Today I am meeting Marco Settimelli and his restorer Filippo and we've come to Marco's house and this is why you do this job. Just walking through the door, instantly I'm in the home of a real antiquarian. I'm in the home of a man who understands the antique completely. He only invites private clients here and other dealers here that he trusts. You can't find him any other way. That these days is as rare as some of the things that are in this room. Just great things everywhere I'm looking. There's just great things. I mean, look at that. No, 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 anti. It's not. It's not anti. Is it fake? Fake. Can we flip it over? It's antique. Front is fake, but the back is original. It's a painting on the old tabletop. How much is it? Cinque Five hundred. On the back of this 17th century painting of the crucifixion is a skillful original portrait. But it's the latter image which has caught Drew's imagination. It's a fake medieval masterpiece, a non-identical copy of a work by the great painter Duccio di Buoninsegna. Duccio is known for his depiction of tender emotion between Madonna and child. A highly decorative piece with a uniquely mysterious story, this double-sided painting could be worth around one thousand pounds. I think it's great. I love it. Three fifty. Three cinquanta. No, careful. Meet me. Work with me. Four sold. Aye. That is attractive anywhere in the world. The buyers for that sort of thing, they're everywhere. But the fact that it's got that age to it, it's double-sided, it's on, on a really good piece of timber. Well, I'm, I'm a buyer. Just beautiful things everywhere you look. Oh, look at this. Another room, wonderful little vaulted ceiling thing going on. This house is to die for. It's fantastic. Everything in here tells a story. Everything's wonderful. He has great things. Yes. I really, really like what he's doing. It's just so good. These shelves, I like these. E bolognese. From Bologna. So about 1820? Si, 1820. Yeah? Si. On the wall, he has an open shelving or rack. Just beautiful. It's got these graduated pillars to the front of them, sort of architectural form. 
Great colour, it's all walnut. You can see from here, covered in dust. It's been up there forever. Absolutely beautiful. 350. Best price. 300. Okay. 300. Okay. okay. Deal. For you? Sold. Okay. Thank okay. You. Classy, stylish. 300. Um, say yes, buy it. Very happy with that. I bought a similar thing in the UK two years ago, not as good as that one, and I paid 800. Oh. It's an imitation of English from Livorno. There's two pieces that I can't take my eye off. It's a pair of pot cupboards. Put your potty in next to your bed. That's all it's for. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so there's work, there's restoration si. everywhere. Yeah, okay. Mm. We put them down here. We put it down. These are stellar pieces. Now we're buying something I know I can sell like that in a heartbeat. Each of these 19th century pot cabinets is cylindrical in shape and veneered with mahogany, which retains a rich coloration. The convex curves, known as gadruning, carved expertly around each narrow waisted pedestal base, was a technique revived during the Italian Renaissance. Each unit is topped with a disc of white Carrara marble. As elegant bedside cabinets, this pair could be worth around £3,000. Best price for you, 2000 Ah, yeah. Peace. That's how they should be, I think. They should be that way around. They're very beautiful. Yes. 2000 OK. Lumila. Yeah, okay. yeah, we'll take them. They've got it. They have that thing I'm always looking for. Whatever you do with them, they're going to look good. They have it all. They are a little Rolls Royce. So today will go down for me as just one of those ones I'll never forget. In your sort of journey through the antiques world, you meet certain people and go to certain places that really strike a chord and remind you why you do this for a living. And uh, today was one of those days. To be around a man and his collection and his knowledge and his fantastic house, it's been a real joy. I love being around it. It's enriching for me as a dealer to be around it and also makes me feel like I need to try harder. È stata una bella, una bella giornata, ci siamo divertiti, siamo stati insieme. Drew è molto piacevole, e anche ti, è simpatico. Comunque è stata una giornata molto positiva di complesso. Fab, okay. thank you. Bye thank bye. you. Much appreciated. Bye. Goodbye, we'll see yeah. you again. Thanks. Ciao. See Buon you. viaggio, grazie yeah. della visita. <laughs> Ciao. At the end of Drew's dream trip around northern Italy, the boys have covered almost 600 miles and bought everything from spaceships to a forgery of a medieval Italian masterpiece to a 19th century artisan's vice. And back in Venice, T has picked up one last bargain to complete Drew's extraordinary Italian haul. I've got you something beautiful. <laughs> I love that. It's everything. You know that collection of terrible things that I have at home? Yeah. Going straight That's in there. going straight in there. Not only is it tasteless, it's badly made. Yes. It's everything I like. Do you know how hard it is to find something that bad? <laughs> <laughs> well, what a trip. Amazing. Incredible. Favourite moment? Favourite moment? The whole thing. Buying that incredible bus, the, the beautiful market, Florence, Venice.
highly decorative piece with a uniquely mysterious story, this double-sided painting could be worth around £1,000. I think it's great. I love it. 350. 350. No, it's careful. Meet me, work with me. Four, sold. Aye. No. That is attractive anywhere in the world. The buyers for that sort of thing, they're everywhere. But the fact that it's got that age to it, it's double sided, it's on, on a really good piece of timber. Well, I'm, I'm a buyer. Just beautiful things everywhere you look. Oh, look at this. Another room, wonderful little vaulted ceiling thing going on. This house is to die for. It's fantastic. Everything in here tells a story. Everything is wonderful. He has great things. Yes. I really, really like what he's doing. It's just so good. These shelves. I like these. A Bolognese. From Bologna. So about 1820?